So here is another type of uh, problem. So if you look at this, this is a combination of an arithmetic and a geometric sequence. What do I mean? For instance, especially if you see something like this, it's more likely to be a combination. But not all the time that you see it, right? So it's more likely. So let's look at this stuff. So let's say we have uh, this stuff, right? So we're going to have to try and figure it out. You see, if I decide to just cross one like that, you'll notice it 2, 4, 6, 8. So we can clearly see that, no, this is an arithmetic pattern. So if I write it on its own, it's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8. Then let's talk about the next one now. Here it was 2, 10, 50, right? So it's 2, 10, 50. So if you check... Um, Two, four, six, eight. There. Okay, so if you check this part, it is an arithmetic pattern, right? With a common difference of two. Then if you check this stuff, it's obviously not arithmetic, it's geometric, right? If you say 10 divided by 2, you get 5. 50 divided by 10, you get 5. So it's a combination of arithmetic and geometric pattern. So let's continue with this stuff. So it's a combination of an arithmetic and geometric pattern, right? So the black ones represent our arithmetic and the red one represents geometric. Of course, you won't have colors like this in the exam. This is just to open your eyes so that you can be able to see this stuff even if everything is written in black. So the question can say in the exam, they can say this is more likely to come out in prelims, right? So, but not exactly like this. In prelims, it's a little bit easier than this thing that I put, right? So you also what I'm talking about more likely to come out so when we have something like this they can ask you to find the next two terms right so we have to find this term and the next term right so if you check it starts with arithmetic right so if it starts with arithmetic it means just before i continue if you want to be tutored either online or physically online it doesn't matter where you are or which country you are at you can still be tutored so we offer cheap online lessons and if you want to be tutored physically, we can still make an arrangement. So call or WhatsApp this number, but preferably, please WhatsApp uh, this number. And then we will take it from there. So what I do is that I tutor people uh, five days a week online. And I give tests once a week so that I can check your improvements. All the odd number of terms will be arithmetic. So for example... Term 1 is arithmetic, term 3 is arithmetic, term 5 is arithmetic, term 7 is arithmetic, right? Then all the even number of terms will be geometric, right? So whatever it starts with is what all the odd numbers will be, right? So since it started with arithmetic, it means in this case all the odd numbers will be arithmetic. So if you started with, uh, with geometric, it means all the, if, uh, all the odd numbers will be geometric in this case. So... The next term, of course, is an even number of terms, right? It means this is term 8, right? So the next one is term 8. So since it's term 8, it means it belongs to the geometric one. So we're going to use this. We're going to find out what is the next term in this. If we find out what's the next term in this, that's exactly what's going to be there, right? Because it's kind of like skipping, right? It has always been skipping. All right. So let's find out the next one. So we're going to just say 50 times 5 to obtain the next one. So... 50 times 5 is 250. So it means this part is 250. And then let's figure out the ninth, uh, the ninth term, right? So the ninth term, so it's an odd number. And ninth term, it means it's arithmetic. So we're going to have to use this one, right? So this is going to be 8 plus 2, which is 10. So that we have it. So the next two terms were 250 and 10, right? So your answers will be 250 and then... 10. That's how you literally write it. Nothing extra. So just two marks there. And then from here, they can say, find, um, let's, let me put it like this. They can say, find the 43rd term, right? So let's just say they say, find term 43. If they say, find term 43, you have to look at this. Term 43 is an odd number. So does it belong to arithmetic or geometric? Well, it belongs to geometric. Now here's an issue. Term 
43 for instance if you look at this this is term 7 right the value of term 7 is 8 but when we split it it's no more term 7 here if you check it's 1 2 3 4 so it's not term 7 it's now term 4 what happened for instance we can also look at this term 5 is 6 but if you check 6 here it's term 3 so what's going on so usually when they split they split equally but if it's an odd number like for instance if it was let's say t50 it means half of it is arithmetic half of it is geometric but if it's something like t51 it cannot divide uh, exactly into two right it cannot be half half so we won't have 25 and um, we won't have 25.5 and 25.5 it's not going to happen right so because they have to be a, a whole number of terms so what happens here is that the odd number of terms usually is one more than the even number of terms for example if we split this one the odd number of terms will have 26 and the even number of terms will have 25 so the odd number of terms is always one more than the even whenever the term number is an odd number right i hope it's understood for instance if you wanna uh, say t let's say 23 right so when we check t23 since it's an odd number when we split them they won't divide equally right the one with the odd number of terms which is arithmetic in this case the one that is uh, that starts with one three five seven will be one more than the one that is geometric so it means the one that is arithmetic will be 13 and the one that is geometric will be 12, ter well, 12 ter terms right so that's what's going to happen so what does that help you with so if they say find the 43rd 43rd term so you'll say t43 right so this uh, it's 43 in this pattern but it's not 43 in this pattern right so how do we do it you'll just have to divide this by 2 when you divide this by 2 I'm just gonna show you a way in the calculator right so if you divide 43 by 2 uh, 43 divided by 2 in the calculator you will get 21,5 so you will just go to the next number it was 21,5 so you go to the next number which is 22 so it means the odd number of terms will have 22 while it's the even number of terms will have 21 because the odd number of terms always has one more than the even whenever it's an odd number so since this is an odd number it means it belongs to arithmetic right in the first place if it's an odd number it belongs to arithmetic of course uh, because it started with arithmetic if it started with geometric then it was going to belong to geometric right so uh, it's an odd number of terms and remember arithmetic was taking all the odd number of terms so that's what's going on here so it means t43 is t22 in this pattern right so remember when you have an odd number of terms just divide it into uh, in the calculator whenever we're dealing with this type of combinations so whenever it's alternating like that so you'll just divide it by two and then you just round it off to the next number right for the odd number of terms then for the even number of terms you'll just go backwards and we have it like that so the odd number of terms will have one more than the even for example if it was let's say 50 let's just say 55 55 divided by 2 that should be 27.5 so you'll just round off to the next number for the odd number of terms so it means one of them will have 28 the other one will have 27 so that's how we have it right so here in this case the odd number of terms So the odd number of terms is for arithmetic, so it's normal T43 here is T22, right? So how do we attempt this part? So we want to find the value of term 22 in this case, right? But for us to find it, we need the formula of this stuff. So Tn is equals to A plus N minus 1D, right? So Tn is equal to our A, which is 2, plus N minus 1. Our D was also 2. So here... It's going to be, when we continue straight away, we're going to have 2n. So tn is equal to 2n. So that's what we have there. So we need to find term 22, right? So we'll say t22 is equal to 2 times 22. So it means t22 is equal to 44. And then we have it. So it means the 43rd term in this pattern will be, 20, uh, will be 44, right? But remember t43 
in this pattern is 43 right but when you split it it's no more 43 it's almost it's kind of slightly above half of it right so we'll divide it by two then we round it off and then we'll find out that position then we just have to find the value so let me put another one let's say they ask for t uh, let's say 22 if they ask for t22 in this pattern remember t22 is 20, t22 in this pattern but it's not t22 in one of them so since we have 22 it means they will divide equally right the odd number of terms will have 11 the even number of terms will also have 11 right now 22 here is even it means that it belongs to the geometric because geometric takes up all the even number of terms right so it means that it's going to be geometric so what do we do here we we'll just say geometric so we're going to use the geometric formula so we need to find out what's the value of term 22 in this formula then that will be the value i mean term 11 right in this formula then that will be the value of term 22 in that formula so this is what we're going to do we're going to say um tn is equals to a r n minus one because it's geometric and then now we're gonna say t22 is equals to a which was two our r is five and then n minus one 22 minus one which is actually 21 so when we type this in the calculator i'm pretty sure we'll have a big number so it's a very huge number right so it's gonna be um nine point five four times ten to the power of 14 so I just rounded it off right so yeah I wrote it in scientific notation so yeah and if you want to deal with scientific notations also videos of that all right so this is what we have so this is the value of term 22 so for geometric it grows quicker right it grows, grows way quicker so this is why we have a large value there So here's another type of question. They can ask you what is the value of term 13 minus term 12. So you see we need to find term 13 and term 12. So remember term 13 is term 13 here but when we split it it's normal term 13. So for the odd number of terms when you divide by 2 it's 7.5 right. Okay 7.5 no 6.5. When you divide it by 2 is 6.5. So it means the odd number of terms will have 7, while it's the even number of terms will have 6. Right? So the odd number of terms will have 7. So it means term 13 in this uh, pattern is actually term 7 in the arithmetic. So 13 is for arithmetic because it took up all the odd numbers, number of terms. So we have to find term um term seven in this case right and then here t12 rem when you divide it by two it, it means arithmetic will be six and geometric will also be six right so it's gonna be six and six there so since 12 is even we already know it belongs to the geometric one so it means t12 is gonna be t6 in the geometric one because that's what i got when i divided by two while it's here when i divided by two and I, wrote, uh, and I rounded it off it means um it was seven for the arithmetic right so this is what we're gonna do so let's find t7 in this case so we got our formula before it was it was actually tn okay, let me just write it down here tn is equals to it was just 2n right and then for the geometric tn was equals to 2 times 5 to the power of n minus 1 so let's find t7 remember t13 in this case is this is t7 here when we split it so t7 is equals to 2 times 7 so it just means um times 7 in this case is 14. then let's check uh term 6 because remember it's term 12 here but when you divide by 2 is 6 right so it means term 6 is actually um is what we what we need so we'll say t6 is equals to 2 times 5 to the power of 6 minus 1 so it's five, uh, 2 times 5 to the power of 5 
so if you type this in a calculator you get 6250 so that's term 6 so there we have it so it means term 13 in this case will be 14 right so minus term 12 term 12 in the geometric was this part so it's gonna be 6 to 50 and of course when I get a negative number this is exactly what I said all right so okay what I'm doing is the substitution right so t13 is actually 14 because t13 in this case is actually t7 here so the answer of t7 is the answer of t13 right so t13 is 14 while it's t12 is this answer right because t12 is t6 when we split it right so when we put it back it becomes t12 so uh, we have it like that so t13 minus t12 is this minus this and then we're gonna get a negative number of course so it's gonna be so six two three six six two three six so that's the answer of this stuff so let's say they ask you to find the sum of the first um, 12 terms right so if they ask you to find the sum of the first 12 terms so they want the sum of the first 12 terms so what are you gonna do so some of it is arithmetic some of it is geometric let's just say it was uh, the sum of the first 11 terms instead so if it's the sum of 11 terms that they want you to find remember it's a combination of arithmetic and geometric so you have to split that 11 now when you split it we cannot separate it into 2 right so if you divide by 2 you will get 5.5 .5. so it means arithmetic will have 6 and geometric will have 5 arithmetic is more than geometric because it started with arithmetic it depends on which one it started with if you started with geometric it means geometric will take all the odd numbers so it means geometric will have to be more than arithmetic so arithmetic will have 6 geometric will have 5 right so what do we do here so from here it means uh, we have to find the sum of all the uh, geometric terms up until term 13, right? So when we split them, remember we discovered that um, there was 6 arithmetic and 5 geometric. So we have to find the sum of 6 arithmetic terms. So we'll say the sum of 6 terms is equal to, I made a mistake and I called it geometric, it's arithmetic of course. So it's equal to 6 over 2. 2 times 2 plus n minus, okay, n is 6, so 6 minus 1 times d, our d is 2. And then here we just get our answer, so s6 is equal to, we just find our answer here using the calculator. So you get it as 42, right? And then now here we have to find the sum of geometric series to 5 terms, right? So we're going to find the sum, so the sum of geometric series is, um, the sum of five terms is equals to our a is two while is our r is five so five to the power of uh, we want five terms the sum of five terms so minus one over five minus one so here I didn't substitute the formula for arithmetic and geometric right so I didn't do that I assume you know it the formula so I just substituted right uh, straight away same thing that I did with arithmetic I just substituted the sum formula without writing it down so uh, you have to type this in the calculator if you type it in the calculator you get the sum of five terms is equal to 1562 so we got the sum of uh, uh, the total sum of arithmetic and the total sum for geometric so the total sum of the combined one is when we add the two answers right so we're gonna say the total sum is equal to 42 plus 1562 right and then we're gonna type that in the calculator so we'll get the total answer as 1604 so that's your full answer right that's your full answer so whenever they ask you this type of questions and they ask you for the sum if they ask you for the sum you're gonna have to split it right if it's an even number of terms like let's say the sum of 50 terms it means here we have to find the sum of 25 terms and here we have to find the sum of 25 terms but if it's like the sum of 51 terms it means here we have to find the sum of 26 terms and here we have to find the sum of 25 terms and then add them together right so that's how it is so when you split it we divide it by two but if it's an odd number we can't divide by two so one of them will have to have one extra 
right so that's how we deal with it so of course if you don't understand anything right so that's uh, that's what you you ask me all right so hope you understand you can even repeat uh, whenever you don't understand parts of videos you can just repeat it yeah you can even attempt it to see if you understand it